Hey, it's Doug from the Rise Above Gym channel, and I want to help you get your first pull-up. Let's check it out. All right, so if you want to get your first pull-up, you're going to have to do a lot of accessory exercises to help facilitate the movement and help build up strength in the muscles that we need to do the pull-up. And we're going to start with row variations. So these you should add into your workouts, probably every workout and a bunch of times during the week and doing a lot of reps. One of them I like is the pull apart, front pull apart, shoulders down, grip is straight, and I'm just gonna glide my shoulder blades together and then control back. I'm not leveraging anything, I'm keeping everything still and I'm squeezing with my shoulder blades and then controlling back, keeping my rib cage down. You can also go overhead to simulate a pull up I know it's not exactly the same, but we're pulling in that plane of motion and working those shoulders and back muscles. Rows are another excellent one that you can add into every workout that you do, some version of it. We have the traditional row. Grip, glide, being supported on a bench. You can do it without a bench, support your body with your arm. You can even do it unsupported, which adds a little bit more core and a little bit more technique to the movement. So add rows in every workout. The other thing about rows is you can do them for high reps, high volume. For someone that doesn't know how to do a pull-up or can't get their first pull-up, you gotta find ways to build up the endurance so you can get your first pull-up. Obviously, just doing pull-ups is not gonna help if you can only get half a pull-up or one pull-up. We gotta do exercises we know we can do. We can get the weight up quickly with, like a row. It's very easy to go up and weight and to a relatively heavy weight. So that's gonna help you build those muscles around the areas that you need to do a proper pull-up. All right, along with a lot of your high rep band and dumbbell work, we're gonna add bar body rows to the mix, also known as Australian pull-ups. I don't know why they're called that, maybe it's a down under thing. But that said, they're great for helping you get your first pull up. If you have a Smith rack, which is on the cables or something like this, we're gonna put a bar in the appropriate position for your level. The nice thing is we can raise it up to make it easier or we can lower it to make it harder. I do recommend higher reps, you know, 10, 15, sometimes even 20s, just to build up that endurance. Now this isn't quite a pull-up, as a pull-up is a vertical pull for the most part. This one's gonna be a little bit more on the horizontal end of this. But the nice thing is, unlike the bands and the dumbbells, we can learn to set our shoulders properly to help us get our first pull-up. So what I'm gonna do is I have a bar with the middle here, I'm gonna get in the middle, I'm gonna get my pull-up grip, which is usually just outside my head in about a 90 degree position. It could be a little in, a little out. I'm just gonna make it 90 and I'm gonna grab here. I'm gonna walk my feet out. I'm gonna set my shoulders. So I'm dramatically slouching here, but I'm gonna pull my shoulders into my back pockets and that raises my chest. And I'm gonna squeeze my shoulder blades together and then control down. Again, pull, moving my whole body together and then down. And you can do it the chin up version, a little bit narrower underhand. I'm going to rotate my elbows in, pull my shoulders down to my back pockets and squeeze my back and then control down. So again, start high, work your way lower with a lot of repetitions and this will help build your grip as well and it'll get you on that bar to do your first pull up. All right, we touched upon this briefly as we were doing the barbell body rows or the Australian pull ups. And that is pulling the shoulder blades down into the back pockets. I call this the C setup because when we pull, we don't want to necessarily be vertical. You can do completely vertical pull-ups, but we want to set our shoulders and the pull is going to be a slightly C shape as you go up. I'll demonstrate here. So when we're here, what we're going to do is we're going to set our shoulders. And as you can see, that brings my chest back a little bit. And my pull is I'm actually pulling the bar towards my hips and then pulling at the end towards. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling the bar towards my hips and then as I get to the top, that's when I get that row back here. So we want to learn to set the shoulders. If we dead hang and have very loose shoulders and try to do a pull up, we're probably not going to get very far. So we need to set our shoulders. So I want to be here. 
So I'm going to stop myself. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to really depress our shoulders, let them hang. And then I'm going to set my shoulders, pull myself a little bit, and then hang and slouch. Pull, hang and slouch. Pull, if I can pull a little further, I will. Down, set my shoulders, pull a little further. Down, pull, and then relax. So learn to set your shoulders so you can get that C pull and do a successful pull up. One way to get stronger is to use eccentrics. Eccentrics is the lowering with gravity portion of any lift. So if you think about a squat, barbell on your back, you're lowering your body with the barbell on your back. That is the eccentric portion. That's where the muscles are really tense and they're pulling strongly to resist gravity from just pulling us straight to the floor. And that helps build up a lot of strength concentrically or the other way up, like a spring. Um, these work very well. However, note that these will make you very sore because of the time under tension, the amount of time that your muscles are tense and that pulling eccentrically does, you know, rip up the muscles a little bit, not in a bad way. You probably won't hurt yourself, but it will make you very sore. So I want you to keep these reps very low and then keep the volume low. So if you're learning, you can do these, you know, once a week for a few reps. So what so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump up into a top pull-up position and slowly lower my body down. So I'm going to stop my swing and then I'm going to slowly lower my body down, hang. And then I'm going to do it one more time. I can do a chin-up version of it. Jump and then slowly lower. I feel my biceps turning on already and then lower that way again do these for very low reps very low volume and this will help concentrically and get you your first pull up bands bands are a great tool to help get you to your first pull up now the reason why i like bands over almost any other assistance a couple reasons one we can actually do a pull up so doing other things like the bar body row and dumbbell row and pull aparts, we're not quite doing that pull up motion. This is not going to interfere with that pull up motion. There are machines at gyms that have, you know, you put your knees on there and there's a kind of a counter pulley. Those work fine and you are kind of getting a pull up motion, but they're very easy and the strength curve is just not the way it is with a normal pull up. Also with bands, you can start with a wider band, which will give you more assistance, and then you can work your way down to a smaller band. And then also the position of the band will make a difference as you do your pull-ups. So the variables are almost limitless, and then you can progress by just changing some of these variables and then work your way up to a proper pull-up. So I'm gonna put this band up here, right in the middle of the bar, with a little slip knot. Now the first way I usually have my clients do this is on the foot because the band will stretch more. Let me make sure I get this on without hurting myself. Woo. All right. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my grip first. I'm gonna hook my front leg, my free leg over the band so it doesn't whip me in the face. And I'm gonna set my shoulders to get that C pull. And then I'm gonna pull myself up. Slowly lower, not quite a slow eccentric. And down. When you progress, you can go to a lower band or you can pop the band on your knee. So now the band has less stretch and I have to pull more with my own body. So again, I'm gonna settle, C, set my shoulders and C pull up and then control down. Another way I use bands for pull-up training is let's say someone can do a couple pull-ups. I'll let them do a couple body weight and then finish off with some bands. So let's say I want to do a set of six. They can do two proper pull-ups and then I'll have them throw a band on and finish the last four. I want to thank you for watching the pull-up tutorial. Let me know how you did. Put a comment down below if you got your first pull-up and this helped you out. I really think that if you put your mind and effort into the exercise that we did, you will get your first pull-up in no time at all. If you like the video, please like it down below. Also consider subscribing, put a new video out every week. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.